Hi guys. I have finished reading a massive book. It's The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert. And just look at the size of it. It's huge. That's 600 pages. Including the epilogue, it's 82 chapters long. It's huge. I ordered it online and when it came I couldn't believe the size of it. It was just so daunting. Because I really want I really wanted to read it after I'd seen the mini series that's adapted from it. And I was a few years late to that it was only a couple of months ago I saw that. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah. I don't normally like longer books, so I wasn't amused when I saw the size of it. Because I feel that the story's just dragged out if it's longer. But this book, I'm gutted I finished it. I would happily read more of it. One more. <laughs> yeah. The downside of this book bad point of it is I had to stop reading right before I go to sleep because of this book. That's normally my thing like a lot of readers uh, reading a bit of the book I'm on before I go to sleep. But reading this book is like watching a horror and then trying to go straight to sleep. It just doesn't happen. It scares you awake. It's just like when you watch a horror and then you need the lights on for a week. I tried to read this right before bed and I had to switch the lights on. It was terrible but it's worth it because it's an absolutely incredible book. The story is just amazing and I may have ignored the fact that a character who in the book is American isn't American in the series, I kind of ignored the Americanness of it. Like when I was thinking of how I would sound as picturing the characters from the series. Oops. But, oh well. But for any thriller fans, this is a definite, I would recommend it to you absolutely, but because of everything to do with it, it's scary and all the rest of it, there's some themes in it. I'd say older readers only. I'd recommend it to them. It, it is really worth a read. Even if it is huge. <laughs> It'll just take you a while. It's fine. It's fine. So. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't like these dust jacky things. I feel like they just get in my way. But I tend to take them off. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do. Or if my stroke of, or if my stroke of genius isn't genius. <laughs> this old. Oh well. I'm tired. So let me read this to you. This is what would be the back. <laughs> There's an old empty house in Devil's Cleave, a deep gorge that leads from the high moors down to the harbour village of Hollowbay. The house is Crickley Hall and it's large and grim, somehow foreboding. It's rumoured to be haunted. It's thought to hold a secret. Despite some reservations, the Callies move in, searching for respite in this beautiful part of North Devon, seeking peace and perhaps to come to terms with what's happened to them as a family. But all is not well with the house. They hear unaccountable noises. A cellar door they shut every night is always open again in the morning. They see things that cannot be real. The house is the last place the Callies should have come to, for the terror that unfolds is beyond belief. Soon they will discover the secret horror of Crickley Hall. Yeah, it's awesome. This is one I'll probably actually reread in the future. It's just that good. So I really recommend that to you guys. <laughs> but only if you're an older reader. Because it's scary. Bye guys.